we were sent a screener for Sting, and we're here to talk about it. So this takes place in New York City, and it is about a apartment building where a small, teeny tiny little asteroid or <laughs> <laughs> meteorite yes. hits this apartment, and inside there's a cute, cuddly little spider. Yeah, he's pretty cute. But then he starts to grow. He ain't so cute. He's still pretty cute. This is a super, super fun film. Uh, to get that right out of the way. Big thumbs up. Really, really enjoyed the hell out of this. This one is probably the best big spider movie I've mm. watched. The thing that makes this movie work is the balance between the humor and the creepy crawly, which can be freaky and creepy and the characters the characters in this are super strong we have a family dynamic here that really works and i really really enjoy our two leads of the film which is the the daughter and the stepdad the effects here are super cool yeah i really enjoyed it too i think that definitely the dynamic between like the father and daughter figure is the highlight of the film for me. I really liked their story, and I think that they played off of each other really well, and I especially love the daughter. I think that her role in this was really entertaining and also very, like, I don't know, I just liked seeing a kid go up against a giant spider. But yeah, I liked the effects a lot. I think that there's some really good ones in this, and I just liked the overall, like, aesthetic of the film. I think that there's some really cool lighting in it. I like that it's set in a snowstorm, so like everybody is isolated within the apartment. It gives it like a reason why people wouldn't be leaving as easily and I think that that's really cool. I, like you said earlier, I do agree that the humor is balanced in this with like the scariness. And there's a lot of characters which is cool when you set something like this in an apartment building, like that's definitely something that you want to play off of is like the amount, like the neighbors and how there'll be different personalities that are interacting with the monster, but also the main characters. And I thought that they were all really interesting and like unique. I also like really loved the title, like the opening credits is like really, really cool. And the characters that we have in the apartment complex all have their own unique personalities and they all have their own unique stories mm. that I connected to in one way or another in the way that I'm supposed to. So I think that they executed that very well. And they also handled something in here very well that I'm usually not a huge fan of. In fact, I usually hate it. And there's quite a few fake outs in here that actually work and there's some moments that I typically roll my eyes at as well but there's something about the execution of this that's just very charming mm -hmm. and the director of this I know from his films Wormwood 1 and 2 as well as Necrotronic I think is the, is the name of the film I think he has a very good balance to his films uh, of, of what he does by putting in humor and either action or horror or both and in this case it's 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 a bit of both part of the effects that i really liked was the aftermath of different kills yeah i thought that those were pretty creative and pretty gnarly looking there's an aspect of the spider that i thought was really unique it was cool to include that and i think that because it comes from like you know, space debris, it makes sense that it would have this unique quality that Earth spiders wouldn't have. Yeah, the reveal of that ups the stakes. Yeah. And the way it's utilized is, is really good. I'd say the film, for the most part, is predictable, but this is just meant to be a ride. It, mm -hmm. it, it takes you through the emotional beats of the characters, and then it takes you through the thrill ride that is the eminent threat lurking within the apartment building and i think both of those are handled really well and of course this leaves off with a potential sequel which i absolutely hope we get but i don't want to make it seem like this leaves off unfinished it doesn't it just leaves it open this is definitely one of my favorites of the year it's just a really good time all around and the emotional stuff in this 
worked way better than I was expecting. There's some moments with the with the family yeah. that were pretty devastating and you know got me in the feels. Really, really good stuff here. Yeah, I agree. It was really unexpectedly good. Yeah, these kinds of films, it's hard to balance because a giant spider movie is typically very silly. And this film is very aware of what it is, but it's also more. And that's a hard balance to strike because the movie knows that it's overall going to be goofy. But there's such a sincerity to it and a self-awareness that I really, really looked past any kind of silliness and just fully immersed myself and bought into everything going on as ridiculous as it may be. This comes out April 12th. It'll be obviously early release on April 11th in theaters very soon, a couple weeks. Heavy recommend. Yeah, definitely. definitely go check it out if you if if you're a fan of this kind of stuff at all. Yeah. This is easily one of the best. It's super fun. It's definitely something you want to see in theaters. So let us know what you think about it when you watch it. And we'll see you in the comments.